going on everybody today we got a honda eu 2000i now when i came here this had no spark at the moment i'm going to show you what it does and how we can fix it starts up pretty good but now watch now it's starting up more but the problem is is if you're having intermittent spark this could be your problem right here this little safety switch so what's happening with this one is it's getting stuck so it's not working so we have to tap it to get it to pop out so i'm going to show you guys how to fix this all you're going to need is a phillips and a 10 millimeter and we'll get right into it so the first thing we got to do is we got to take it all apart to get to the safety switch and i'll have a link in the description this is a genuine oem honda part so we're going to fix that right now i'll start with taking off the back cover that's going to be four phillips pretty easy and if you guys want while you're waiting for the part a quick fix is you guys can i forgot to tell you this but this is what i did for this customer is you just disconnect this right here this wire and it's always on start you can turn it off to turn off the field but it's always on on so in order to turn it off you have to remove the spark plug wire so it's a temporary fix while you wait for the part or you could just leave it like that or put a kill switch in and never actually change the part that's up to you guys now from here we'll go to the front and we'll remove one two three four the worst thing about these inverters is you got to take everything apart just to fix them. Now we got two on the top. Right there. Now we got two 10 millimeters down here. And we just pry those off. Now right under the recoil. One more Phillips. And we should be able to split it. Sometimes it's on there pretty tight. But I took this off recently last time I was out here to diagnose the problem. Perfect. So now we got access to this little guy now in order to actually get to him we got two phillips at the bottom here one right here well, that piece broke off it should not cause too much of a problem and now this piece will come off in order to work on it a little better if you needed to completely remove this piece right here's your fuel pump what you can do is you can disconnect these and you can pull it all off but since we're right here we have access to the part we're working on you can see this is dirty blow out your machines <laughs> it's fine though dirt ain't gonna hurt nothing it's just what happened was it got a little wet or muddy down there and this piece is sticking up so it's pretty self-explanatory once you disconnect your wire you're gonna pull it out like that like I said, we can work with this on. It's not going to be a big deal. And now we got two Phillips right there. Now the new part does not come with new ones. So make sure you keep the ones you have. And you don't lose really those. And these are smaller. So if you need a smaller Phillips, get your smaller Phillips. But there we go. Now this one came with a little zip tie holder. You don't need that. As you can see, this one's a little bigger too. Should be just fine. You see how this one's getting stuck? Cause it's dirty. So we're gonna put this new one on in the same little spot that it goes in. And you see, even though it's bigger, the holes still line up. And it's, when I turn it off, it's pushing it. And see what happens is, is this one will get stuck in and you'd have to tap it to pop it out. But now all we gotta do is put our bolts back in. Now the longer one might not go all the way in, but you should be able to get it in. There we go. There's our new part. <clears throat> so now we can connect them just like that. And it's a pretty standard connection. I don't know if we could take this thing apart at all and clean it, but I will probably just take it. It's like I said, it's smaller, but don't worry. That's a genuine Honda part. So now we can put it back together or the same order that we took it apart in no not that one
And like I said, link to the description. This is a super easy repair. You only need a few tools. The main problem is having to take everything apart. That's a pain. While you're here, you can look at your carburetor, change your air filter, blow out your generator, whatever you want to do. Now we just got to play puzzle and put it back together. And no, you do not have to take the pet cock off at all. There is no reason to do that. Like I said, we're just going back in the order that we took it off. Should be nothing different. If this part falls off, I just want to let you know this sprocket side goes outwards like this. And that goes right here on this little guy. So sprocket faces outwards. And these are just for anti-vibration. So if you don't put them back on, if you don't feel like you want to, you don't have to, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Just shake a little bit heavier. Now from here, you take your 10 millimeter and you should just be able to reach in there. And those should just line up perfectly. Putting these things back together is a pain in the ass. And there we go, that should zip shut now. Once I put the two top ones in. Now from here, we just need our Phillips to finish this up and we'll make sure it works. There we go. Those just clip back in. You want to put these on before you zip this one up because you can catch it in the back and then clip it in. And like I said, these are just for looks and to keep some dust and dirt out. But now you see, now you can push this in over that so you don't have to finagle it. Now it's as simple as just finishing up the last little bit and we'll make sure it works before we get out of here. And since I know it's going to work, I'm just going to go ahead and put the cover back on. Now, the way I was testing this originally was I was going on off. When you go to off, if you hurry up and turn it back on, the engine should re-catch and stay running. But with this one, this old one, this old um, stop switch, it would just die because it would get stuck in. So now we're hoping that it should just keep staying on. So we're on on, running pretty good. Off, on, off, on. It's working great now. So if this video help you guys, like I said, all you need is a 10 millimeter and a Phillips and a flathead to get this off. But I mean, you could probably do it with your Phillips too. So if this video help you guys, I appreciate it. If you would subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.